imagine what they're going through. Yeah, the hit and run death of Emma Cardenas has left 16 year old Nayeli Sandoval numb. Within moments, she not only lost her best friend, but younger sister, who was just looking forward to turning 15 this coming Saturday. We were like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> you know, she was just always there. I go into my car, that's, that, that was her seat, you know, like the seat's still exactly how she left it. I mean, her pencils are literally right there on the side of the door. On April 28th, Emma was walking home from school when she was struck in the 1600 block of East University Avenue by a vehicle that fled the scene. Emma died of her injuries at the hospital. Now the scene of the crash has become a memorial. Nayeli is a junior at East High School. Her sister was a freshman and was just two blocks away at track practice when her sister was hit. Nayeli hopes city leaders will discuss the possibility of changing school zones in the district. The crash site is just a half mile from East High School but has a speed limit of 35 miles per hour. Less than two weeks prior to Emma being hit by a car, two teenagers were struck by a vehicle on Southwest 9th Street just minutes after school was let out at Lincoln High School. The speed limits, the school zones aren't even that far. Like, I mean, there's students that live all the way down there. There should be the school, I feel like the school zone, the school zones should be um, like extended and that they, they should be farther out. There should be speed bumps. The family will be holding a visitation open to the public on Thursday at Hamilton's funeral home from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. with a private funeral service at Calvary Apostolic Church on Friday. Justin, you were out there this afternoon. What, what was the sensation with those cars whizzing by you? Yeah, sidewalks real tight just because of the, the infrastructure there yeah. and cars. I mean, you could feel